China's growing military power is creating serious concerns, so India is exploring options to level up its air force. India is on the hunt for next-generation fighter jets, and both the US and Russia are making big moves. The US has put the F-35 deal on the table, while Russia is offering to build its Su-57 stealth fighter right in India for the Indian Air Force. Currently, the Indian Air Force relies on jets like the Su-30 MKI, Mirage 2000, and MiG-29. These planes have served well, but here's the problem. China is rapidly upgrading its air power with fifth-generation stealth fighters like the J-20, while Pakistan is modernizing its fleet with Chinese support. India's current fighter fleet looks dangerously thin compared to its neighbors, China has over 2,000 combat aircraft, Pakistan around 500, while India sits at roughly 540. And it's only getting worse. China plans to field over 1,500 fifth and sixth generation fighters by 2035, while Pakistan will get 40 Chinese J-35s and Turkai's Khan fighter jets. To maintain air superiority, India needs a next-level jet to counter these threats. So, what's the best choice for India? F-35 or Su-57? The F-35 is the stealth king, nearly invisible to radar, processing real-time battlefield data, and excelling in air-to-air -air combat, ground strikes, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. The Su-57 is Russia's powerhouse, built for extreme maneuverability, higher speed, and carrying a larger weapons payload, but lacks true stealth, making it more detectable than the F-35. If you want a pure dogfighter, the Su-57 has the edge in agility. But modern air battles aren't just about close combat anymore. The F-35 wins in stealth, network warfare, and electronic dominance, making it far deadlier in real-world scenarios. To fully modernize its air force, India could require around 80 to 100 units of F-35s or Su-57s. That's no small purchase. Each jet costs millions of dollars, depending on the version and customization. If the deal goes through, it'll be one of India's biggest defense acquisitions. But don't expect jets to arrive overnight. It could take five to seven years for the first batch building, training pilots, and setting up infrastructure for these advanced jets takes time. If India gets the F-35 or Su-57, it'll shake things up in a big way. For China, it would be a headache. These advanced jets would help India track Chinese movements and counter their growing influence in the region. For Pakistan, it's an even bigger problem. Their current fleet can't match the F-35 or Su-57, nowhere close. This could push Pakistan even closer to China for advanced fighter jets and air defense systems. The acquisition of the F-35 or Su-57 could be a game-changer for India, boosting its air power and shifting the balance in South Asia.